when I was making these, I felt like Oprah to these tacos. I was like, you get a chicken skin, you get a chicken skin, you get a chicken skin. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Hello and welcome to another installment of this strange thing that I do on the internet. And if you're a newer viewer and you want to know the vibe, you should go subscribe, click the bell to get notified, and check out my clothing line. Even though I'm not wearing any right now, but I promise soon I will be. I'm working on it. <laughs> Alright, so today as you saw come together in the cooking segment, we have some tacos. This is chicken tacos, very, very Western Americanized chicken tacos with a nice little secret treat on top called a crispy chicken skin. I got a little bougie with it, but hey, it's a nice little touch. I've never tried it, but I do know that I love crispy chicken skins. Before we do anything more tradition around here that we must pour. So we have the iceberg on decky, the doctor, the pea. It's routine. And we don't mind it. I like keeping it right to this or some A&W root beer because to be honest with you, well, a Diet Pepsi is not bad too, but it's just not the same. But a Diet Coke can really just, you know, take a hike, go live on Mars, have a nice life, Diet Coke, because I don't need you here. We don't need you here. Emotionally, physically, taste buttily. Because that's really where it is the most offensive, is on the taste buds. Diet Coke just tastes nothing like Coke. Whereas at least Diet Pepsi tastes like Pepsi. That's my one defense with Diet Pepsi, okay? Oh, a little spillage. We overfilled today, maybe a little too excited. But... Yes. Yes, 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 yes. All right, well, I'm starving. This was certainly a uh, full day of, you know, cooking the chicken, getting it prepped, doing all the things. So I'm certainly ready to get into this, absolutely. I brought some salsa and I got some leftover crema and I did it full uh, bakery styles, whipping the icing. Let's put that on my right hand side though because I'm a right handed man. That's one thing with these videos. It's like I always ever be crossing up for sauces. Now, where do I Jenga from in this situation? Very scary. I got them wedged out with two two taco shells. That's a little bit of a a bookend genius move, if you will. I just learned it right now today. So don't give me like full Elon Musk level credits, but uh, okay, I need to shut my yapper and get something in me here. So we salsa. We show you and we go. Yes, that crispy chicken skin is going to be an amazing bite. Mmm. Wow. 
Never done that before. What a game changer. Mm hmm. What a game changer. Now, I don't know if I'm accurately like allowed to say that that's chicharron. Because I think chicharron has to be pork. Or is it the same? I don't know. That said, pretty standard practice in uh, Mexico cooking culture. Crisping up some skins. And, uh, I mean, for good reason, dude. It is a quite the delight super easy to do I just put that chicken in the slow cooker with a little bit of broth just to make sure there's some moisture going on. A couple hours in, the skins were loosened right off. I just picked them right out. Paper towel, pat them off, get the moisture off. I know you guys saw that I have a little deep fryer and you're like, you're going to be all like, oh, you fancy, huh? Just a little, a little pan with oil. Same difference. All you got to do is get hot oil in a containment issue scenario. Chuck them in. Good to go. And, uh, a wild little additive to uh, to tacos. When I was making these, I felt like Oprah to these tacos. Like you get a chicken skin, you get a chicken skin, you get a chicken skin. But unfortunately, I only had seven, and this audience member over here did not receive a chicken skin. So we're rocking a more standardized, less bougie taco. But. Interesting to see how it is. Come on, that's a crave. That's gotta be a crave, no? Oh, tacos, just the best. Such an enjoyable food. Just a little crunchy pocket wallet of everything you need. It's, you know, south of the border, rival for a burger. But the crunch, that crunch. I'm such a sucker for crunch. That's why all my life, chips have been such a vice for me. Once I go in on a bag of chips, it's like, I can't stop. I'm going in. I'm eating 1,200 calories and a lot of carbs. You know? Speaking of carbs, <clears throat> hallelujah, we can have tacos in this diet. And before all the fucking health professionals look at this and say, that's tacos, that's not, you can't have, that's carbs. Okay, yeah, we're, we're doing low carb here, guys. And to, to be under in low carb, you need to be at 50 grams of carbs. Uh, guess what? I'm capable of grade two math, and I read the box, 
and <clears throat> per two tacos is 10 grams of carbohydrates. So at eight tacos, if you do the math right, that's 40 grams of total carbs. So we low carb and we live in it. The fact that low carb includes tacos has me geeked. Because life without tacos is a life I don't want to live. Do you feel me? I know you do. Mm. These are hitting the spot. The proverbial spot. Also, I came to a realization before I started eating these, but <clears throat> when this video goes up, it is going to be a Tuesday. So, happy Taco Tuesday. Go out, get yourself some tacos. I dropped my videos early enough in the day that you could still find time to either hit the grocery store or get to your nearest Taco John's, Del Taco, Taco Bell, Taco Time. Wherever else slings these delicious vessels for food. Wouldn't be one of my videos if I didn't have to wipe under my eyes. It is what it is, homeboy. Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> I will say one thing. Is that I need to invest in one of those taco like holder stands. So you just put the taco shell in and it stands it up for you. Because I was doing every makeshift way to like get this figured out so I can like stand them up and dress them. Quite the uh, taxing effort to get them to, to work for me. But hey, we're here now. Another thing, <clears throat> this cheese, that's where it's at when you get tacos. Thin, the thin string, the thin shred. Shout out thin shred. It's like what Taco Bell uses. I love it. The chunky shred, 
not so much not for me the thin shred yes please This is definitely one of my <clears throat> most enjoyable videos that I've done recently. If I see anything related to what I'm about to say in the comments, this is how I know you're real and you made it far in the video. But when I was shredding up that taco, <clears throat> that chicken meat, I should say, I did it with like the hand blitzer pulser thing and it kind of made it a little more, it's almost like it would be inside of a taquito maybe or like an enchilada, like very, uh, almost like chicken salad-ish. And I know it's like, <clears throat> I don't know if it's like slightly off-putting or something, but I just, I actually love the way that it translates once it's in the actual taco, like how it mashes and sits in and how it like translates to the palate. Like Taco Bell makes their beef very almost like not soupy but like mushy like really blended down like not chunky and same with like this chicken and i do it with my beef too but i like it to be like that like soft mouthfeel i really enjoy that but i know some of you were probably wilding when when you saw me do that Probably like, what the fuck? You're pulverizing that chicken. It's just a preference for me. thing I very much enjoy just like this video so good eight tacos down Charlie Brown ah, starving on this one I mean rightfully so I was 26 hours fasted so makes sense not much to say about that one other than it was banging Hope you guys enjoyed it. Till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true.